connected. Channel switched. Good morning, good afternoon. Hi, Tim. Hi, Tim. Hi, Hi, Tim. Hi, Tim. Hi, Tim. We have on occasion had decent fights on Cascade Range. Just not most of them. <laughs> no. <laughs> Strong waves. My my brain is mush. I didn't reach uh, the race yesterday, so yeah. I spent all my time on on soaring webinars, and I, my brain is mush now. I probably can't <laughs> fly at all. User joined your channel. I must be honest. I've done uh, the User task yesterday a few times. Hi guys. Hi Garrett. Hi, Hi, Hi Garrett. Hi Garrett. Hey Richard. Hi Travis. Hi Richard. Hi Richard. Israel. Task yesterday was was nice. Hometown. Yes, it was. So and was a I, gift. Yeah, to, today I'm flying with the Switzerland uh, skin. Have you seen that? No. Nope. It's very nice. Uh, I, I, I've re, uh, I've saw your stream uh, yesterday. I've done the same uh, fly totally three times. I've uh, done it. Two times again because uh, I flew this this area also a lot with the paraglider, and uh, I will try a few things. And there was a lift uh, away from the cliffs, a little bit uh, farther in the center of the valley. Uh, I reach higher, much higher at the third time. So it's for yeah. me. It's for me uh conclusion that i don't go too close to the to the sharp uh hills yeah it, it depends on the waves sometimes uh, the wave will kill the ridge lift so okay. it's, it's better to stay a little bit uh, far away or a little uh, bit away yeah further away yes But how do you do that? Do you have a, a check that you check at the beginning uh, the feeling about the lift? It's about the routine, I think. Yeah, you need to. You get the feeling with time. Also experience. Okay. <laughs> I don't yeah, know how I mean, many I... thousands of hours Tim has in Condor. Okay. <laughs> Wait, but yeah, also but... If, you're, if you're flying along the ridge and it's not as good as you think it should be, fly out at an angle from the ridge get out a little further away and see if it gets better. Okay. Also watching other gliders, if you see you climb better a little yeah. further ahead, uh, away, then it's mm -hmm. better, obviously. And real, it's a little bit different. I use more the sense when I do real flying about the, the stability, stability or the turbulences. Uh, I do other this decision, but uh, here I have less the feeling of of my uh, my back or my belly. <laughs> yeah, none at all. <laughs> yeah, I saw the design from your uh, glider yesterday. was was uh, very nice with uh, other colors. Yeah, but to, today I'm wearing the Switzerland skin. Okay, okay. I see later the, the stream. I've uh, stopped at the beginning of the, the flying. I see parallel your stream and fly, but uh, I quit this. 
I do now flying and after flying, I do a debriefing with your stream. Are you neutral today, Tim? I'm neutral, yes. <laughs> but st still the Danish colors. That's true. Yeah. It could be... Like the cross uh, is a little bit different, different shape. An idea yeah. for Condor 3, maybe, when you have a different skin, does everybody could see your skin? Yeah, that's the problem I have. I see only standard skins. Is there anything yeah. I should do in order to see yeah, other skins? You have to install each skins from each pilot. Then you see also the other skins from the other pilot. Okay. But when, when it's not done on purpose because of yeah. the, the amount of bandwidth that takes on the server. Yeah. Yeah, there's a, 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 a racing sim that does that's kind of like Condor for it's like a one man thing. Uh, the way they do or the skins download is button or something like that. Though. Yeah, the, the, way, the, way the, yeah, the way they do their skins is we hook up. You, you can download them. But they're only low resolution. If you want to get yeah. higher resolution skins, you have to pay for like so many downloads of them. So it covers the uh, bandwidth cost for the high res skins. Oh, okay. Uh, usually the the sims or the, the servers Condor runs on don't have that much bandwidth. And if everybody starts yeah, yeah. put 80 people on the server, you have to share all the skins across. Then yeah, yeah. it just that's takes clear. a lot of bandwidth. So it's it's not done. Yeah. No, if you want them, you have, have to download them. Yeah. Is there any package for the most common used uh, skins? I've done also my uh, my own skins. I, I don't know Condor Club. I actually have, I haven't really downloaded them. Like that. I don't know if they have a pack of everything or if you, how you do that. I think I think if you're in a competition, there is some option like download the skins and use by the competitors. And yes, it, it knows it. by uh, the Condor updater which ones they have installed or something. I don't know. Okay. But usually you find them on the Condor Club, and then you oh, okay. can can okay. install them with the, the Condor updater, right? Yeah. We don't use uh, the goodies installer anymore. No, just by the in the in the Condor updater itself, you can even search for them. Okay. But you have a, a nice overview of uh, the skins and Condor Club, where you can search. Yeah, I've done my own. I took a default one and uh, just manipulation the color and the settings on the sheet and saw what's the result. There are also yeah. templates on the website in the download oh, okay. section. Okay. And if you upload your skin to Condor Club, uh, everybody else can download it and see it okay. and use it. I have choose different color, a mint one and a blue one. But most priests like white gliders. Yesterday I've uh, done a conclusion about your flight team and I saw you had more or less the same way that I choose, but faster. And for me it was clear yesterday, um, I think I had an idea from the right way, but uh, I think I need two or three months more to have a conclusion if I get faster or not. So I have no stress from my side. I enjoy the flight and that's more important. Yeah. Speed will come with time. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> <With> the skins. <laughs> I have really, I dove deeply into Mac Ready and yep. 
some AAT stuff yesterday on webinars on the, on the internet. I've yeah. spent countless yeah. hours on that yeah. the last couple of days, and yeah. my Me brain too, is much. Bit. What's left of it is much. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to fly anymore. It's not too technical. It's more the feeling. But you, yeah, the only feeling I have is when my wife is kicking the bucket I'm sitting on. <laughs> <laughs> McCready, I uh, read a lot paragliding and then also a few books at home, but uh, yeah. when you do a lot of uh, conclusion or calculation, it's, it's even worse. But what, what's the speed range for the paraglider? Uh, the best glider till 60. My one is 45 at top speed. You could speed up you have a speed line but you could push with yeah. the with the um fusing uh, with, with the yeah with the feet bar. with the feet sorry and uh the race tournament gliders are top speed about 60. what is typical the glide ratio for that sorry a typical glide ratio for the uh, one to ten is a uh, challenge class, and my is one to eight, one to seven, not more. And this is the best, best uh, possibility. One to ten is a uh, really nice flown. No, you so can you make a cross country flights already with yeah, one to ten. Yeah, uh, Red Bull X Ops is a great, great example. In seven days, by feet and fly. From Salzburg to Monaco. No way, man. Fantastic. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> you should look it up on YouTube. That's amazing, that race. This, this is another story. And also dangerous with this wind. They started with 60 or 70 speed of wind. And yeah, this was, this, these are profis. I watched a movie how some guys was breaking them. Yeah, yeah. A Krigel Maul is a Swiss guy, which had the lead seven times now. Which brand paraglider do you have? I have a uh, Obsession from Obsession Three from uh, U-turn. Okay. It's a low B uh, difficult level. I had an A glider. This is the entry level, and the safest level that you could have. I check to a low B. And C are the tournament gliders, but they are at dangerous. When you have a collapse, it's, uh, it's not possible to re restart the, 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 the glider in, in the air. Mm -hmm. So we must be careful. User joined your channel. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Nice. And I had one, one experience with uh, rising wind, um, and I landed backwards because the wind was so strong. Yeah, it's dangerous when you are slow. In, in Condor, in real life? In real life, not in Condor. Condor, the glider are faster. When you have a paraglider, my top speed is 45. And when the wind rises, normal speed is about 30 kilometers. And near the ground, it's not uh, recommended to speed up the glider uh, with 30 kilometers you're close to fly backwards when the wind came up yeah hey, Juras, the creator of Condor he used to do paragliding as well okay I think he had Nova gliders yeah Nova is one of the biggest brand a German company.
I must be honest, I'm serious about my healthiness and I only only go to the air when it's safe. Few guys go also when it's not safe or even when the weather change. Uh, I will don't do that. I went gliding the day before yesterday and it was like 50 km an hour wind. Yeah. But it was in, in, a, in a normal glider. Yeah. It was sporty. How long could you fly with a normal glider? To 60, 70 knots of wind or? Uh, I flew up to about 90 kilometers an hour, I think. That's okay. the, the max I've seen, like flying wave. Yeah. But but there, I, I saw guys that go up to like 120 kilometers an hour in the, in the wave, the wind. Okay. But usually in the wave, it's it's not not turbulent, so it's not an issue. Yeah. But you have to slow down when you will go out of the wave. Well, if you fly 140, you can can penetrate into into 120 km an hour wind. Yeah. Yeah. And usually with 140 km an hour wind, the wave is strong enough so you can fly fast. Yeah. Okay. In Condor, you can set up to 100 kph. That's that's doable. Okay. It's also oh, thing. Sorry. Or if you feel excitement, you can open the task up and make it even higher than 100. <laughs> you, you can edit the task and turn the wind even higher than that. I think. Can you? Can you can I... Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah. <laughs> If you, uh, there's this one scenery in South America somewhere where you can, if you put the inversion really low, you get like 100 kilometers an hour crosswind on the airfield <laughs> with, with the normal weather settings. Hmm. I think the Temuco Los Andes or something, that, that scenery. Yeah, that's the Chilean, Chilean yeah, that one. scenery. Yeah, I mean, I think great. Yeah, I, I most of those uh, those high altitude sceneries kind of, if you aren't if you're not careful, you can end up with really weird weather because of the uh, really high altitude the airports. <laughs> Should be fixed on the three. So, we, uh, any good news from the Thunder 3 news? Yeah. Uh, no. Nope. 
Sorry, say again. No, not really. Okay. Yesterday I finished beta testing and fixing all the airports for the scenery. Just out of curiosity, is any of you planning to go to Arrow in Friedrichshafen next week? Second. What's happening there, Morten? Oh, they are they are having a very big uh, exhibition. Event. Oh. Yeah, yeah, everything about yeah, smallest gliders, Shimpia, then Slicer, Younger, and then a lot of other manufacturers will be there. Good luck, Dennis. Yeah. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Yeah, good luck, guys. Oh, I missed where the stars are. It's not, it's not 1,400, it's 14,000. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Brand new thermal starting right for me. Yeah, right, right next to the to the I just the start sector. Right. PXT is already in it. Is it on this side though? Yeah, it's on the back edge. Just oh. inside. Dang. What? Ah, missed it. Oh. Oh, so it'd be nice if it would be nice if it was on the other side of the start sector. <laughs> no, it's just inside on the back end, uh, back side. No, that's what I mean. It'd be, it'd be nicer if it was down course a little bit. <laughs> Not sure I want well, to there is a cloud there. T4 is in it. Yeah. TVA. On top of you. And the clouds are working well? No. Yeah, I didn't find At least not the cloud I had, there was like two packs. T4 
seems to stop with speed, huh? Good luck. Good luck, Richard. Good, Good luck. luck. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. No, I might not be coming. <laughs> Yeah, that was a problem to rise. Yeah, it's more than a here. Is it on for me? It's 825. Where are you? I don't know. Ich fliege mit analog heute, Gerd. Gestern klappt ja alles heute, geht gerade da, so oder nicht mehr. <lacht> Irgendwo ist da der Wurm drin. Ich habe es jetzt drei oder vier Mal deinstalliert, neu gestartet, ich habe es nicht mehr hingekriegt. Ich das Rennen hin. Aber es geht auch ohne. Natürlich. Ich fliege immer ohne. Immer ohne, okay. Ich mag das analoge Fliegen irgendwie. Ein bisschen mehr Höhe wäre noch geil. is climbing up in that cloud there on the ridge. beruhigend, dass ich nicht der Einzige bin, der hier im Kämpfen ist. Ja, bis wohin? 1640. <lacht> oh, ich hab 945, oder? Aber es ist nicht stabil hier. Es ist nicht stabil. Selbst neu bei der Wolke. Es ist nicht stabil. Passt mir nicht. Ich habe hier gar nichts gekriegt, weil ich gesehen habe. Also die Wolke ist so eng. Ja, ich komme mal zu dir. Abgehofft, dass es besser wird. Also im Hang konnte ich am besten steigen, einfach nur immer mit 1-2 Meter. Ich starte sonst. Ne? 1600 Ich starte. Ja. Ich will auf Strecke. Ich will auf Strecke. Yeah, I, I wasted one turn. <laughs> ich beschleunige und gehe. Ja, aber 40 oder 100 würde ich schon gerne haben wollen an deiner Stelle. Top Speed, 1400 habe ich. Ich gehe. Es reicht da knapp. Okay. Ich hab also, du wirst mich einholen. Ich denke, dass, dass du das schaffst. No, no. Das hier anfängt gerade vorne. Also vorne an der Kante entlang. Mal nach hinten und wenn es ja, zusammenbricht, ja. sofort wieder wenden. Na, die Kante ist sehr gut. Bitte mal bis drei hoch. Das ist eine schöne. Ja, die Kante ist schön. Du kannst auch. Von der Kante weg geht es auch noch hoch, komischerweise. Also eine stabile Welle, aber die Thermik ist äh, nicht so ideal. 
gesagt wurde. Not yet. 950. Thanks. I think I focus on waves, not on thermic. Oh, I have a question to all you glider pilots. Yeah. Uh, I've been wondering, when you're going around in a thermal, are there any gliders that actually uses the landing flap position to, to go around yep. in thermals? Yep. Yes. Yeah? No, not all planes. Huh? Okay. JS. JS3, yeah. Oh, but yeah. But you feel it. You feel it when you try it. If you go even more up or or less, I do in in Condor the way I basically if landing if the L flap I mean, I call it yeah. landing flap if the yeah. L flap is just a bit more of an angle than like the next higher yeah. up one then it's probably fine to climb it but if it like drops down the <laughs> straight down like the uh, the ASW twenty or the EB then it's definitely a landing flap it's it's for drag. Yeah. Thank you very much. I mean, the other way you can do it is fly, yeah, go to the next flap above, like the L flap, and then slow down to your just barely above stall and then lower the flap and see if it helps. If it does, then it's fine. But if it makes it worse, <laughs> it's not the Yeah, 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 I get you. Yeah, yeah. You have to keep that inner wing, wing flying. Preferably. If you read the Champiet manuals, it says uh, it's a slow flight, so also in the thermal. Yep. And in real life, it's also different if you have a stable turbulence or turbulence in the turbulence uh, in the in the lift. When you have turbulence, you have to use less flaps than uh, when you have a stable lift. In turbulence, when you have a lot of flaps, it's only a break. Yeah, yeah. Hello, Morten. Hello, Gerd. We have What enough are doing here? Yeah, I must <laughs> push to 1400. I have 1350, that's not much. Same problem here. Oh, there comes the short color. Mr. Tim, 
You're doing great there. Turn the uh, cloud after start, more than the Yeah, we still need to get some height to get to the starting point and also have some extra height in order to do the yeah, speed. Too. I have only 1400 now. Oh, I made a mistake. Like I'm on pull up. Oh shoot! And spin. And then recover. Well, that was that was a fascinating moment. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, something, Martin. Second. Oh, that's one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, something. <laughs> right? Did you see what I did? No, oh, you were watching. out of my screen, man. Yeah, I. Uh, <laughs> We were gonna hit each other, so I pulled up into a stall, rolled inverted, and then rolled back over and kept on flying. Though, it's a nothing happened. <laughs> well, I, I was, like I was you lost any height. Yeah, I didn't. I basically, I managed to just roll over and then pull back out without actually losing. <laughs> I mean, I, I lost a little bit. It's over three, yeah. I think I'm on the way. This is a, this is a little too crowded. <laughs> I was reporting that, that was uh, exciting. There's a I think I wish we could do we do report a replay for uh, we're playing a multiplayer. That, that would be yeah. Cool. Yeah. Oh, I have More action. <laughs> the commentator. But the uh, the replay the single player replay files are you know, much higher. You know, they're you, know, you play them back and basically you can see exactly what you did. Okay. So that's probably the track the track log is like once a second or something. So it's. It's like a GPS recording, basically. But the uh, the replay files, if you play offline, you can play them back and see everything you did, your controls and everything. Okay. But yeah, they don't work on multiplayer. records and you can just tell it to save a clip which is what what just happened. But 
Good luck here. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah, good, good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Did you like that cloud, uh, Nick? No, not at all. It did some weird stuff. It was a pony? Point of no interest? Was that the same way one I took there in front of you? Yeah, to... yeah. Yeah, it was... Uh... Missed the opportunity. Uh, I, I got, time. It got up to two and then it dropped off really quickly again. Yeah. This next one looks good, but I'm not sure if it's still on the ridge. Quite a good one, John. Glad you are in the TJ. Uh, well, my 32nd average is still for 1.6, but it's even getting sooner, and I think it's better. Then this is going to give us good news. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be two and a half. The yeah. center of the two core of it is really strong, but. Yeah, I think this one's now that I'm centered. It's about two and a half years ago. Well.
Uh, sorry guys, I have no VR. You lost your VR? Yeah, I was thinking now for a big, big screen <laughs> in 2D. It's broken, huh? Yeah, I had uh, the whole time uh, today for a short high as a flight uh, problems. And so finally it disconnected here. Yeah. But it's a new one. Yeah, it's a new problem. Yeah, then I take away the goggles and uh, stick in for my monitor. And I lost my sound because my goggles <laughs> is not on my head. Yep. Yep. So I take my goggles back and put in all those goggles and sound. Yeah, only to do. Without Como map, but it's not the problem. It's like a different without. I use more the sense to see the top because, or the top logic. Second. Ähm, ich habe viel mehr meine Augen auf der Umgebung und lese eher die, die Topologie der Landschaft, als dass ich auf die Map starre. Ich habe da viel reingezoomt und geguckt auf der Map, aber ja, okay. ich sehe das optisch auch. Also. Aber ich muss gerade ehrlich sagen, ich bin abgesoffen, ich bin nahe am Landen, aber ich habe jetzt wieder 800 Meter. Obwohl das ganz ungewohnt die Bewegung ist, wenn ich links raus oder rechts raus gucken will, ja. muss ich mal cool ja. hätte bewegen. Das ist ja. ganz komisch. Das ist mühsam. Das mit dem Gucken ist geil. Hopf hoch und du siehst es. Wo du kannst zurück zu mit plus und minus und hast du wie so ein Fischauge, Fischei, Nummernblock plus minus, und hast du mehr U. Oh, ich komme mal nicht klar. Yes. The lift. Restart of the task, okay. TBK. Him.
you the card. Thank you. Good, good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Uh, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorely tempted to sit. I'm so tempted just to sit here and climb in the wave. <laughs> you know it's only one hundred percent. DGT is coming back as well for the start. Mistake. Viking pork bit. <laughs> ah, you're not the only one. We're we're all not that high anymore. Ah, oh, I should have paid more attention. I got. I could have filled this glider with bricks. <laughs> I just I just went down. <laughs> wow! I went down. Throw some altitude down to my knee. Crashed. Uh oh. Uh -oh. So everybody fights, huh? That one. Thank you. The red team is going to point us to that five meter thermal yeah, under that big cloud okay. now. Congrats, Mike. Thank you. Congrats, Mike. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, you got me worried there. Congrats. I could just hear it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Did Miss Turning? No, that's good. Mr. Speed. A little bit more to the south, maybe? No, it's narrow. Yeah, I think here. Oh. No. Well, at least we have the sunny slope now. Yeah. Let's hope. Maybe a new one here, Viking. Oh man, I'm I'm trying the new landing flap situation, and I'm just flying right on the edge. It's it's so narrow here. Yeah, here is a better one. All right. You're going right, we. Yeah, I had to. I 
I don't have to. I don't have the altitude to get over there. Maybe. Yeah, it's flat against the mountain. Zero nine yeah. access. Thanks. My, my, my engine extend button is whispering to me, telling me I, I should push it. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, cascade brain strikes again. Now we could tell our secret. Uh, after the flaps, you have extra flaps. You yeah. could uh, pull, uh, pull, pull, and. <laughs> uh -huh. I've got a better secret than that. Go to the balance <laughs> button. <laughs> It's a difficult map. It's like this. Oh, you were going right over there. Yeah, do whatever you like. I don't care. That's great news. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> As long as I stay behind you, that is. <laughs> well, you're 400 below or so. Yeah, no problem. Continue anyway. Let's see. There could be some stra strategy in this. Yeah, the thermal stopped and I see Tim turning. Well, good luck guys, fly safe and hopefully I'll catch you tomorrow. Yeah. Bye bye. Well, yeah. bye, -bye. I think fly safe bye -bye. And don't fly cascade range. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's my feelings. <laughs> see you guys. You know, Rich. All right, Rich. Have a good one. See you. What direction are you guys turning? Uh, Tim was turning left. Thank you. Yeah. Das ist so groß in 2D hier. Sehr gern, ja. It's so confused for me in 2D. Ja. Everything I learned about situational awareness just flew out the window. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is a situation and you have some awareness, so that's good. <laughs> okay. But I have uh, the same conclusion when I do too much uh, brain work. Just fly and try to feel the flow or, or go in the flow. 
not too much head work. But situational awareness is many things. Yeah. It usually starts with the weather forecasts, I'm told. <laughs> I have never tried to fly in real life, so... In real life you feel it better. This is tricky. something there. Well, there's what the one right in front of you. That one just formed a second ago. Yeah. But, well, I guess we'll see. Wasn't a very good entry.
Ja, irgendwo müsste es hier sein, Andreas. Ich habe auch die gleiche Entfernung, glaube ich, 58 Kilometer. Ja, ich bin tief, ich komme nicht hoch irgendwie. Du bist wahrscheinlich rechts von mir. Siehst du mich? Okay. Ja, seh dich. Seh dich, du. Ich bin links von dir. Tief. Ah ja, jetzt sehe ich dich. Ja, ja, ja. Ich fliege unter dem Radar. Ist außen rumgeflogen, ne? Ja, ja. aber es war steiler. Ich habe die steilere Konturen gesucht. Das war ein schönes Steigen, aber ich konnte nicht viel Höhe mitnehmen. Das ist irgendwie komisch. Ich komme nicht hoch. Du bist Nein, nicht der Einzige. Da sind alle am Kämpfen, okay. Ja, Gerd ist, ist sehr hoch. Was ist das? 1003, 1004? Na, 1650. Okay. Also Höhe sparen und auf Turnpoint los. 5 Kilometer, das ist kürzer als ich dachte. Nee, ich vermisse schon da diesen Kompass da, den Kontan oder wie heißt er. Der ist schon was wert. Also den vermisse ich tatsächlich. Aber verwechsle ich jetzt jemand? TBA, ist das nicht hin? Ich muss Peter ein. Ah, sorry. Ein Speise da. Ich bin gespannt, wenn ich dann äh, äh, den, den YouTube-Film dann von Tim sehe. Ist wahrscheinlich sehr einfach. <lacht> oh, das, ähm, Nein. Morgen, <lacht> ich mühe mich da ab wegen zwei Meter Höhe. Ich war jetzt dreimal kurz davor, dass ich notlanden musste. Oder Tim, ist nicht einfach, oder? Nee. Nichts. Also wir sagen kämpfen, okay. Ja, ich mach's morgen. Ja, ich morgen. Thank you. Andreas, Andreas. Thank you. Das ist Andreas. Danke. Andreas Bodo. Gerd. Andreas Gerd. Andreas Gerd. 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 Uh, das schwierige Stück kommt jetzt. Na, ja. Das wird geil. Viel Spaß. <lacht> Im nächsten Mal mache ich mit dem Motorrad. Motorrad und eine Motorsäge und dann durch den Wald durch. Wie steige ich da jetzt hoch? Auf. Oh. Schöner Talkkessel. Boy, these thermals are not easy today. No. No, they're not. This is a decent one. Uh, he sat up and then it dropped out of it. <laughs> I can't find it again. It's, it's so frustrating. I think it blew over the edge now. Yeah, I had a reverse version of that. New dude. one. That's the one I went into. <laughs> was like two at best. And I was like, well, I, I need to climb. So I stuck with it. And about three quarters of the way up, it suddenly jumped up to over five. <laughs> but at that point, I'd already spent so much time in the lower lift that it would make a difference anyway. <laughs> Come on, baby. It's a new cloud further down on course. Yeah. 
that thing. Is it ook gevlogen? Yes. Wie bent dat? Is it that ook gevlogen? So hoog? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ik ben südlich der Kurslinie, ne? Ah ja, sehe ich nicht. Da wo TDK ist und TDA. Ja, ich bin Tal, neu vom Landen. Ich bin abgesoffen. Warum auch immer? I'm okay, at least to the middle of the valley. Maybe get away from this sink from the Come on, baby, mountain. come on, come on. I've take the rookie task exercise. Well, the new one doesn't do much. Sure didn't. Oh, oh. Uh, going to reach, I guess. To the turn points. Is Cloud Cloud flying along? Nope. No. 
Wait, the near a cloud? No. <laughs> Just optimistic. <laughs> Exactly the right piece, almost. Congrats, week. Congrats, week. Congrats, week. Yeah, well, now it's good out here. That's right, we must have. That was a good point. I turned it at 1600, but then it's tight to get out again. Okay. On the southwesterly side. Okay. That's nice. Congrats. Thank you. Congrats. Congrats, Mike. Congrats, Mike. Congrats, John. Congrats, John. Congrats, John. This is really crazy. I'm stuck over here. Everybody is ripping over the edge. I yeah. can't get this glider up. I, I have no know. chance also. I'm in the valley. This is crazy. Very sensitive. Might open a restaurant now while we're at it. A good spot. Here. Hopefully they should come back to eat. Five meters on this ridge right here. Oh wow! This guy was. I was wondering if this, that ridge, this ridge would work or not. I was coming to it too. 
I was half expecting them to sink because of the way the corner is. Yeah, of course. Here's the six meters. <laughs> right when you don't need it anymore. I'm almost willing to fly back after it. I can't get this glider up. This is crazy. When you pull out the water, is this a solution? I can. Yeah. Maybe John can lend you a very noisy thermal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's fight him. Congrats, This bridge is not really good. <laughs> yeah, one more pass around the corner. I'm so much south. Me too. I'm going to go further. I think I'm definitely wrong here. Does not was weird, keine Ahnung. Ich flieg bis es geht, so lang es geht. Ich komme einfach nicht mehr hoch. Wenn du zu tief bist, hast du verloren. Like Tim and John took a good way. Oh, who's in the lead? John or Tim? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Big. Did you guys just keep flipping?
Oh, oh no, how the? Yeah, it was today, uh, I mean. Not that just running the past day on Dita. So I made an, uh, an uh, reset. Like a reset. So I tried it again. But this is gonna go. Yeah, it looks like the right way, too. When you have time to watch <laughs> the terrain, you have no dramatic situation. <laughs> Now there's four of us going to come figure out who's in the lead. It doesn't really, that doesn't even count unless they're so close together that they uh, flip through every other frame. I think that's when you actually do get a straight up tie. <laughs> I think it'll do that until you finish though, but yeah, I, I, that's the one I like to this one though. They are actually literally tied. Which competition was this? No, no, you're, every once in a while you'll, you'll if you if people finish so close ah, together, yeah. you'll actually, every other frame will basically be a blur. Because they'll be alternating every frame. <laughs> Not just the once a, once a second one like that. <laughs> Our Italian friends are fast today. Yeah. Spanish. That's Spanish, I think. And Richard is doing very well. 
Yeah, good shit as well. Yeah, last I saw it in the light, they, they must have got the thermal there roughly really high. And somebody should strengthen the wings on this thing. <laughs> I don't know, the, the fact that they're not breaking when they're kicking like that, I think they're pretty strong as it is. Congrats, Thank you. Nice to see you too. And John and Dennis. And Richard, a bike in a few seconds. I'll never forgive myself for flying this bad today. I'll never do. I'll go directly and jump into the harbor after this. <laughs> With a big stone tied to my legs. <laughs> oh, this, this one is going to be difficult to brush off. <sighs> I thought it was quite awesome. I'm so close to the ground. I'm not sure if I finished this or not. That one? I think you sound like a real class from like real life. Yeah, yeah congrats Mike and John. Very well done, congrats. Richard. Congrats. Congrats, Richard. Well done, Raj. Thank you. Come mm -hmm. right. Who's that Duran guy? Mm -hmm. I'll see you guys next time. See you. Bye, Dennis. Yeah. Bye, Dennis. Take care, Dennis. Yeah, bye, Dennis. Cheers, Dennis. Bye. One. Thank you. Congrats. Congrats. Congrats, Morton. Congrats, Morton. Well done, Martin. Yeah, you see. It was so bad. It was so bad. It was close, I think. I had so much height at the right point against me. I think um, actually you was better than me, but then I got low and then I got good thermal straight behind you. Yeah.
It's really a fantastic, it's beautiful uh, scenery here. Yeah. Number two, Mike. New idea for Condor 3. When you never rise 1,000 meters, that you get extra points. So, Mike, uh, remember your gear? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> another, another new idea for uh, Condor 3. Maximum speed when starting. Yeah. Well, it's already implemented in uh, some of uh, the competitions. Yeah, then you check it afterwards. Yeah, only manually. That's right. Great Viking. Great Viking. Yeah, to look Thank you. That was a ter terrible flight back to the drawing board. Be right back. I think my time with webinars will never end, not in this lifetime. <laughs> Maybe need more gliders in Condor 3, though. I mean, the space shuttle technically is a glider. <laughs> How strong the thermal would it take to do thermal on the space shuttle? <laughs> yeah, do that. So, this was also close. No luxury today. X-15, it's basically a glider too. It would be a, a pretty terrible glider. <laughs> Is the cascades getting easier? And no, Con it's not. And Condor 3, you mean? <laughs> no, it just was in general. But, uh... Uh, I, I think this task was a little, a little less cruel than some of the men, but... Yeah, that's what I thought. You play it with better graphic solution and more difficult task. You have more time to Look at the nice scenery. <laughs> yeah. It is good. Okay, I guess it depends on... I, I was surprised I came up so as high as I did because I was really just... 
you know, I took a, I got a, like a weak, kind of a weak thermal there. I was like, oh, I'm just gonna climb up in it. I'm gonna, aim. it was, I was like, I don't want to get low <laughs> on the scenery. It never works out. Yeah. Congrats, kid. Congrats, kid. Congrats, kid. Yeah. Congrats, kid. Congrats, kid. Thanks. What do you hey, John, I was going to ask you, did you get the high winds the last couple of days? Oh, uh, it wasn't bad yesterday, but oh my gosh, yep. Yeah, uh, uh, well, the nearest weather reporting thing that was that's like 30 miles west of us had a gust of 66 miles an hour. Oh, okay. Yeah, but yeah, it, it's died back down, unfortunately. But yeah, it was super, super dusty and everything. It was gross. Yeah, sun, Saturday we had uh, 90 miles an hour. Oof. And Sunday we were at about uh, 70, 75. It wasn't quite that bad here, but yeah, it was still annoying. Like I said, there was lots and lots of blowing dust. Actually, I'd say the most I've seen actually out here. I don't know if it was a combination of the being dry, but those, st we, that, those storms actually built up just east of us too. So my car just got sp mud balled on. Yeah, <laughs> it was <an> issue. <laughs> yeah, we didn't have a problem with dust. Of course, we don't get a lot of dust here. Uh, during the springtime and stuff, because everything's pretty damp, but yeah, it was definitely blowing. There was damage all over town, trees down, and campers turned over, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, they had, uh, I 70 got closed at one point because they had a semi blew over, but I around here were, we, we had one power line that was messed up, but I don't know if that was from the wind or just someone actually ran into it or something but generally i didn't actually see a lot of limbs down but we've also had quite a few windy storms recently or over the winter and stuff so i think a lot of the trees that were in you know were weak enough that might get blown over have already been damaged yeah, on saturday wyoming highway patrol said there were 36 uh, semis blown over <laughs> Hell, there were six between Cheyenne and the Colorado line. It's only 12 miles. I'll have to leave you guys. Thank you very much for the flight, guys. Thank you, too. Thank you. Thank you. Have, have a good evening. evening. Have a good evening. Yes. Yeah, enjoy your evening. I'm yeah, going to get you. off of here, too. The wife's home for lunch, so... Okay. It was great flying with everybody, and uh, good luck, uh, Morton, Gerd, and Andreas, yeah, and uh, Conrad. We'll see Thanks. you later. Everybody have a good later. afternoon and evening. Bye bye. Same to you, Mike. Take care. Bye bye. I'll say bye as well, and uh, thanks all, and good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Close to the landing in the lake. I'll, uh, I'll try my best. Yeah. No thermic here. Disconnected.